All right, folks, welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. Hope you're enjoying the channel thus far. If you want to see a video on something or have a comment, go ahead and put a comment below. Anyway, today we're going to be going over the Hatfield 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun. More specifically, it's the Hatfield SAS Turkey. So, I picked this up at an unnamed big box store that uh, usually we love or hate. And I gotta tell you, it's actually not that bad on first impressions. So it's a 12 gauge, three inch chamber with a, with a 28 inch barrel that's rib vented. Comes with a halfway decent little sight here at the end. And it does feature an actual wood stock. Now I don't know what kind of wood this stock is, but it is wood. We'll go ahead. I've already made sure it's safe. Once again, it's safe and secure. All right, actually comes with a pretty nice firm but flexible butt pad or recoil pad. Actually not too bad. Has some checkering. Now obviously this is machine checkering. It's okay, nothing, nothing too fancy. Um, but at this price point, I mean, but for what it is, you know, this is the cheapest semi-automatic 12 gauge I have ever seen or found anywhere. And that's why I picked it up. I was curious what, how good or how bad is the cheapest 12 gauge semi-automatic on the market? It is a gas piston system. And of course you have your typical safety down here, right behind the trigger. And you have a, a cocked indicator right here. You got your typical charging handle right here. And I mean, first impressions are not half bad for being the cheapest semi-automatic. Of course, these are made in Turkey, um, like many, many, many shotguns are. So really no surprise there. Um, it has a uh, anodized aluminum finish on it. Uh, the finish is okay. It's nothing to write home about, that's for sure. It's a little dull. Uh, cheap looking finish. Same on the wood. You know, it looks nice, but it's cheap. Uh, my guess would be the finish and the wood is probably not going to hold up to weather all that great. Um, I will note that this trigger guard, even though at first it looks like it's metal, it's actually a plastic trigger guard. And of course, we've made sure it's safe and secure. Now we'll go ahead and see what this trigger's like. Wow, that's horrible. Okay, this trigger is downright horrible. Now it is a shotgun, it's not a precision rifle, but this trigger probably breaks it. I don't know, I'm gonna test it here in a second, but it's a lot. It's extremely heavy, it's got tons of, uh, it's got tons of um, creep, it's, you know, real crusty, scratchy, um, and it's got some decent amount of over travel. Nothing to write home about there. Let's go ahead and see what that trigger weight is. My guess is gonna be up there in the seven pound range. Oh, a little lighter I thought, five and a half pounds. All right, so it's got a five and a half pound trigger on it. So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna see how it really performs in the field with some different ammunition. All right, folks, so I'm out here with the Hatfield SAS 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. So I went over it briefly in my uh, I went over it briefly in my studio, and now we're going to take it out here and we're going to test it with some cheap Winchester Super X two and three quarter inch shotgun slugs, some Kent Ultima Diamond Kent Ultima Diamond one and three. Okay, uh, these are three inch, twelve gauge with four shot, one and three quarter load. Then we're also going to use some cheap Winchester. Um, basically really cheap target loads and usually if you have problems with a shotgun that's semi-automatic cycling this is the load you're gonna have problems with it go ahead and put some ear pro on here by the way if you haven't checked these out they're pro for show they're for sale uh, on Amazon and they are absolutely awesome extremely affordable and they block more uh, noise um, and gunshot noise than any other earmuff I've ever used or hearing protection I've ever used. 
All right, so we're gonna be shooting some slugs to start with. These are, the, like I said, the Winchester Super X. I gotta say, it cycled extremely, extremely well and no feed issues whatsoever and the recoil is absolutely great for for a slug this recoil pad and the Zionist rifle i'm actually really impressed all right folks so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna try some of those kenton turkey loads or kent turkey loads excuse me oh yeah All right, so in closing, this Hatfield shotgun has worked absolutely great with all three ammunitions I threw through it. Unfortunately, I think I lost some of the video or didn't hit record on some of the footage here, but I gotta tell you for the price, I don't think this thing can be beat. Sure, the machining work and the coatings and the wood aren't the greatest, but I gotta say, it's a good value. Go ahead and like and subscribe below. Look forward to hearing back from you next time. It's actually mixed of snow and rain right now, and it's getting pretty nasty, so I'm going to head on out.